Hello, and did you miss me? It's been a while since I've been able to make a video because, let's face it, that Sun and Moon through team up format got stale. Talked to death. This is boring. So, we're finally back. Unbroken Bonds is out. It is legal online. It's not legal physically yet. But we're going to talk about Baby Blacephalon. Uh, possibly the best single price attacker we have in the format now, depending on how you build your deck. 120 HP, one energy attack, which is always nice. The blazer attack, getting to see one of your prize cards and keep it revealed for the game, it's huge. The way this deck ends up working is you end up a lot on finding your prize cards and the right ones at the right times. So if you're able to use Blazer and flip over any prizes, and you're like, oh, well that's a uh, you know that's you know Fiery Flint. I don't need Fiery Flint. I already got one in my hand. Well then don't take that prize. You take something else. Save it for later when you actually need it. The reason why this card's so good is the unlimited damage that we get access to from Fireball Circus. Three Fire Energies, which is you can do it turn two. Welder and Fire Energy. We'll get over to Welder here in a bit. 50 times per fire energy you discard from your hand. So it's not like Blacephaline GX where you lost zone it, you just toss it from your hand. And they printed stupid good fire cards for this set. So basic count, four babies. I still play one Blacephaline GX because Burst GX is still too good. Uh, you kind of use it late game, just, oh, I'm gonna alter space or nest ball for it and attach, good game. So. One of the cards that was undervalued up until now was this Fiery, fiery Flint card. Uh, discard two cards from your hand, grab four fire energies from your deck, put them in your hand. You combo that with cards like Fire Crystal. Three fire energy cards from the discard pile back into your hand. You combo that further with Welder. You need to attach two fire energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Does not count as your attachment for the turn. Then you draw three cards. That's good stuff. Combo that a little further with something like Heat Factory. And then Wishful Batons are tool of choice for the time being. I'm still not completely sold on it. I think we can. there might be better ways to improve the deck. But Wishful Batons are pretty solid. You attach it to your active baby. When they get knocked out, which they always inevitably do because they only have 120 HP. You get to move three energy cards. Hmm. The right number of energy cards to a different Pokemon. So that's pretty good stuff. The supporter line in this deck is revolving completely around the use of Green's Exploration. It's one of the new powerful supporters from Unbroken Bonds. You can only play the card if you have no Pokemon with abilities in play. No ability. No ability. So we're good there. Then you get to switch your deck with two trainer cards. Stadium item and supporter. Put them into your hand, shuffle your deck. You can further dig deeper into the deck to find, maybe you already have the greens in hand, but you need to welder that turn. You can use Pokegear 3.0 to dig a little deeper into the deck, because you look seven cards into the deck to grab a supporter you find there, and put it in your hand. You play two Rescue Structures, because we only play five Pokemon. Um, Energy Spinner is another one of those new cards that Japan's had since, I want to say, October, and we finally got it. Um, it's basically Energy Search, but if you go second, and then on your first turn you have in your hand, you get to grab three energy cards. Pretty good stuff. Aggro Bike just to help smooth out some draws and to keep things moving along. Uh, we've put a Pal Pad in the deck because one Guzma isn't a lot. And we also included a Beast Energy for certain math problems that you run into. Without further ado, I think we go and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves in with Baby Blacephalon. No, oh, they still haven't fixed that glitch then. Uh, Aether Paradise is currently glitched out. Hmm. Some sort of Ninetales deck, I'm thinking. If it's Ninetales, it's problematic because of our weakness, but little else. Because they're going to take one prize at a time, and we're just going to hammer them all game long. And we played the single prize game better than they do. 
Yeah, they're playing. So oh, maybe not. Wow, two babies. No, well, our opponent knows what we're playing, probably. Articuno. Okay, they're playing Naganadal, Quagsire, Ninetales. But what's their hair candy for? Blastoise. Okay. So Psychic Pokemon might be Tapu Lele. Might not be Naganadal, as I would have thought. So already thrown away red. Which is another really good card from the set. Discard two cards and search your deck for any any card. So it's computer search as a supporter. Well, it looks like we already got parts of the combo in play. So let's see if we can't find a welder. It's unfortunate. So we're going to use the fiery flint. Energy switch is nice, but we don't really need it right now. And you don't want to throw away the fire crystal or the welder, because we're going to need that fire crystal in order to keep attacking. And seeing as though we're now deck searching, we're going to take a peek and see if we're missing anything important. Looks like... So far we're not. It's unfortunate I had to use two pokey gears already. We've prized a green, we've prized a welder. And I apologize if you can hear my cat. He's just having one of those cat moments. So we'll select our energies, attach them to our Pokemon, draw three more cards, we'll bump their stadium. We already got a knockout, might as well take it. Fire Crystal next turn will allow us to use the Welder, but I don't really want to if I don't have to. I'd much rather find a green and go from there. Alright, now the fun's gonna be, what do I draw off the welder? Safety first. Grab another Pokemon so we don't get we don't get bodied. Fire crystal. So we're gonna need to hit one more energy card off this off this welder in order to get our knockout and to hopefully keep things moving along. Any kind of decent. We'll play the acro bike and see if we can't that works so now we got three in there we didn't find the beast centers so we gotta find we gotta fire three out Next turn, what we can do is we can go in, we can Ultra Space for another baby. Green for Wishful Baton and Fire Crystal and see what we can get from there. Looks like our opponent got set up. They got the Blastoise down. I'm not sure what they're doing with the... I'm guessing the Vulpix is there just so they can evolve into Fairy Alola Ninetales and find their items. Double Blastoise. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know how much energy a deck like that plays. But I'm gonna guess it's not a ton. Put the two welders back in the deck. Guzma doesn't do me any good because of their Nakuno anyway. Not that I've seen the one Guzma. I have to play the green. Have to. So we're going to grab those. I'm going to put the other two Blacephalons back in the deck. And I still have a lot of deck. That's the one thing I'm not a fan about with this deck. Is you don't draw cards like you're used to. And the deck can fizzle out. As evidenced by right now. Okay, but for next turn, might be sitting okay. So I have plenty of Fire MG in the discard pile. So I can Fire Crystal. Hopefully I can find a Welder. We can draw and hit a couple other things to see what we get. But my opponent still doesn't have, well, currently doesn't have a switching card that I'm aware of. Or energy, but they have two Blastoise, so finding that energy, probably not too difficult. Okay, I like this idea on his part. Use Powerful Squall once, see if we draw into the energy, and then you got the second one for later. Let's see, if this is not good as our opponent's not taking a lead on us, and it's a bad matchup. Bad, bad matchup. So we'll use the Fire Crystal in part so we can use Heat Factory. Let's see what we can come up with. Maybe we'll stuff on Fiery Flint Guzma. Let's put the baby down on the board. One, two. Two fire energies in my hand, five in there. I got seven left somewhere between my deck and prizes. It's Fiery Flint. Don't really need a spinner. Don't really need two greens exploration in hand at the same time. I got four more fire energies. Thin the deck out a bit, right? We'll bump our own heat factory because we are again thinning out our deck. So we have 19 cards left and we have three or four welders in there. Was all that necessary? Probably not. Was it helpful? Absolutely. Boom. Okay. Now we got some more stuff going on. Still don't have Wishful Baton, which is a problem because next turn becomes an issue. But what we're going to hope for now is that our opponent struggles to find energy. I also think I'm out of fire crystals. Nope. We got one more fire crystal. Which could become hugely problematic here in a very short period of time, especially because I've not been able to find a wishful baton in a situation where I could actually play it down. So we will see what we can come up with. Nope, sorry for the shake. Oh, they whiffed energy. So now they're... Sorry, cat is, uh... Again, doing cat things. Love the kitty. So he's gonna damage himself. Which puts him in a closer range. So now it's only three energy as opposed to four. But... It's a moot point considering I don't have a welder in hand. Or the energy in deck to do anything about it. Oh boy. Yeah, 
this game, okay. I'll just call it right here because this game's not going to work out in my favor. I would have needed Fire Crystal as a top deck to even think about doing anything. So, we'll just chalk up Blastoise as a bad matchup for Baby Blacephalon. Hopefully we get to see something a little more meta-relevant. Not to say Blastoise won't be, but it's not... It's probably not on the forefront of most of our minds right now. Uh, Reshi, Charizard, Reshiram, Tag Team... Is going to be that the deck. Everybody's going to know about it. Everybody's going to be thinking about it in one way or another. They're either going to be playing it or they're going to be playing to counter it. So you have to decide which side of that coin you want to be on. And then from there, how would you like to proceed? It's something that has been kicking around in my head has been Vulpix. In Nine, or Ninetales, rather. Baby Ninetales. Safeguard Ninetales. Crap like this can't do anything against it. Okay, so we're playing against Guardi Sylveon Tag Team. With Ms. Magius and Greens. Okay. So, I'm really interested to see this, because I've been I play, built this deck physically. Don't have the stuff to do it online. But I'm just interested to see, because I basically just took that Japanese list and straight up converted it to what cards we have available here in the United States. And haven't liked it so far. I've really been missing that tag switch card they have in Japan that we don't have currently. Um, hopefully we get that in our next set, and they can propel this deck forward in our format, make it viable for worlds, but I just don't see it being uh, the greatest thing ever. Right this second, anyway. So they went Wishful Baton, which is a card I was thinking about, because energy is a problem in that deck. A nest Ball for another Mistrevis. Oh no, they went with another Guardi Sylveon. Okay. I would have gone for the Mistrevis. So we're going to get a free prize here. I'm guessing that our opponent's going to do that. So the Miss Magus, when you use its ability, you knock it out. You give your opponent a prize, but you get to draw until your hand has seven cards. And you can do it instantaneously because you can drop the Mistrevis on the bench, play Dusk Stone to instantly search and evolve into it. Oh, they didn't play anything else. Okay, well, we do have a problem in and of ourselves, though. We are completely dependent on whatever we draw off this welder. This isn't good. Well, I don't think we're getting knocked out, so I can use Blazer here. I'm going to use the Pokey here and hopefully find a welder. For next turn but that's not a problem really so we'll use blazer we'll gain knowledge of a prize card fire crystal okay good deal and we do 10 damage which coincidentally sets us up for a five energy which we'll be able to accomplish hopefully with fiery flint and our top deck a five energy fireball circus for three prizes to put us down to two prizes remaining hopefully that works out that way wouldn't be the first time that things didn't go according to plan, right? Anybody ever wonder who they got to be like the musicians to make this mediocre music? I kind of feel for them. I feel like they should just be playing like the classic Pokemon battle song from uh, the video games in here. Super Scoop Up was another card I'd been considering. So what else we got in here? Nothing too interesting. Alright, so... Fairy Song, they search their deck for two energies and attach them to their bench Pokemon any way they like. So let's see if we can't find, like, a bunch of energy cards, right? Well, I can use the green to get another Fiery Flint. 
I play two fiery flints this turn, I can completely load up and get this knockout. So that's 200 damage. And we're thinning the deck out. So now we have a handful of fire energy. We'll need to discard six. To get this knockout. But we'll take a huge lead. We definitely need that fire crystal. Pokey gear in green? Great. Perfect. Perfect. The fire crystal is nice. The green is nice. The pokey gear is fantastic too. Hopefully we hit a welder, fire crystal, boom, and we can go from there. So they were playing the... That's not the right fairy trap for this particular instance. So that attack will allow our opponent to rearrange their energy on their side of the board. I'm guessing they're going to put two on there. Now we get to transfer. Which helps us out. They're going to get one prize. Woohoo, good for them. I'm trying to think, what's the right way to do this? Because five energy is not going to do it. I need to get another one. No, I'm fine. Let's just grab another fire crystal, duh. Grab fire crystal and flint. Because between the two I have in my hand. Okay. They saw the writing on the wall. But I'll have to make a note of that. Super scoop up. Super scoop up is an interesting card to put in Guardi Sylvia. As is wishful but time. I want to get into a long protracted game with this baby Blacephalon deck. Alright, let's get the show on the road. Hands a little on the dead side. If there was a fiery flint in there, I'd be a little happier. No, actually, if there's Fiery Flint in there, it'd be a stupid good hand. But, uh, top deck of Energy Spinner. Now we're done. Hey, 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 somebody else already found their Energy Spinner. Right, right. I think this matchup is in my favor as well, because their HP is 250, which is a completely easy, doable number for me. And they just, I mean, they can hit me hard enough, but what's the point? I kill them and take their, uh, I take my prizes faster than they take their prizes. Assuming I get any kind of setup. Which, with this hand currently, could be a struggle. I might have to pokey gear for the, uh, fiery flint and an ultra space, just to keep my board state kind of decent. But we will see how it how it shakes out. So we're playing against Greninja Zorark, Naga Natal, which is still my preferred build of this deck. I, we've, been, we've been screwing around with the Incineroar variant where you... Ooh, hand disruption. <sighs> Fiery Flint, Welder, Wishful Baton, Energy. Well... I top deck another energy, I'm really happy. And then I'm really banking on three cards. I think I have to. I have to go for the green, right? Okay. Green for ultra space. And what else? Right this second. Grab the ultra space.
fiery flame. Got our baby Blacephalon, bench it so we don't get bodied. And let's gain knowledge of one of our prize cards. So one thing this deck is very vulnerable to is hand disruption. Now next turn I'm sitting a little better. Um, if my opponent's able to get a dark energy in the discard pile here and evolve into a Naganado, which I'm guessing they're grabbing right now unless they're grabbing the Dene GX. Okay. Uh, if they have a dark energy in the discard pile, which I think they do, they have two. They're going to get a knockout because they're going to swing for 120 damage on the dot. I'm going to be in a not fun position so i'll have to use the fiery flint welder hope to find another fiery flint to get the knockout and hopefully take the threat off the board these are all hypotheticals energy switch might not be necessary in this deck but if it's not i wonder what else i could use those spots for because there's two spots for it all right so that should be this energy in the hand, charging up, make it some to 120, unless he's, no, he can't use the GX attack, there's no point. <laughs> Save one of those energy switches. Just don't know if it's going to be helpful or not. I think I'm going to find out though. Wrong Placephalon. Welder. Two fire energies attached to the active. Looks like I get my attack, but Wishable Taunt's helpful. Needed that. So I'm going to be able to attack next turn, but I also didn't take any prize cards right there, and I have no hand, and I have no way to draw cards. So we're hoping for a pokey gear or green next turn. <sighs> There's a lot of hope involved with this deck. What are they going in for? Their bench is full. Okay, might as well get it out of the deck. Ultra space for Naganadal, yep. Charge up. I mean, they might as well. When the time comes, they can use Turning Point to take a knockout, which is a really smart move on their part. If they see it. Green's exploration. Green's exploration. Go fire crystal. So that'll I'll secure me a knockout. Ultra Space gets me Blacephalon. And then I should grab something for next turn. Yeah, another green. I actually know. Wish for Baton, because I'm going to get knocked out again. So, Ultra Space for our last baby. I'm going to have to grab that Rescue Stretcher next turn. Fire Crystal. I only need to use two. So that's all I'll do. Alright. Now, if they play Beast Ring and they have it in their hand, that's problematic. Ooh, the Guzma's helpful. The Guzma's helpful.
What are they going for? Nothing. Okay. Bench another Greninja Zorark. Aganadal, yeah, okay, sure. I don't see why, other than to just fish it out. Black market, that's irritating. Looks like we are taking out a Naganadal next turn. Or that Tapu Lele that looks so delicious over there. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. So, while I'm here, we'll go over the Greninja's aura real quick. 30 plus 30 for Dark Pulse, for each Dark Energy you have attached to all of your Pokemon. Which is the strongest that attack has ever been printed. That's GX attack lets you put two Dark Pokemon GX or EX from the discard pile onto the bench, but if you have one extra energy, any color, attached to it, you need to put two energy cards on them as well. So it's pretty darn powerful. Now we are... Short knockouts on everything except that Naga Natal. So, Guzma first. Stretch your back for Blacephalon. So we don't get bodied. Circus time. Oh man, we're gonna need uh, two turns here. We're gonna need two turns. I see now the black market doesn't mean anything to me. If I'm able to score a knockout on the Greninja Zorark, it's still gonna be easier because that's what I'm gonna have to deal with now because I've used the Guzma. I'm gonna have to deal with that Greninja Zorark that's in the active. That's gonna be really tricky here. If I hit green. Ooh boy. I think we've run out of gas, but it all depends on what I top deck. But I think we're out of gas. We still got furry flints. We have no energy. We have like no energy in the deck. Whew! It's gonna get interesting really quick. All this does is buy me a turn. Which I don't really have to spare right now. Like, I can't even give up this turn. <sighs> I think we ran out of gas. I mean, next turn I have to be... Top deck five cards. And be allowed to play two supporters in a turn? I don't see this one working out. Unless our opponent literally forgets to attack. Even then, it's not looking good. And that's scary to stare down. You just keep grabbing energy. Like the eight energy on the boards means you're swinging for 270. Bike again. I don't know what this Poke Gear can possibly fetch me. And then now I don't know what this green can possibly do for me. So I can't. I just simply can't. Yeah, we're just gonna. There's nothing I can do. I would have needed to play Walder and Green in the same turn, and unless I'm really bad, I don't think I played Lieutenant Surge's strategy during that turn. So, we're going to play one more game, and we'll call it a video. We'll see how this one shakes out. I do think there is... This is by no means a perfect list. This is a... Took some cues from some other people, made a couple changes that I thought were necessary, and now we are where we're at with it. The one thing I... 
might have overlooked is Beast Ring. I had it in there. I took it out because I never had to play it. Um, so might want to consider putting that back into the deck. We also might want to consider what to do with those energy switch spots. And if there's other Pokemon you can put into the deck, like maybe that Turtonator from Dragon's Majesty, see if that helps out. We'll find out. All right, Ziora, or we might be playing Peek around. We might be playing against Zapdos. We'll find out, I'm sure. Assuming our opponent draws anything whatsoever. Ah, finally, somebody playing Electromagnetic Radar in a deck. You get to search your deck for two EX or GX Lightning type Pokemon by discarding two cards from your hand. Oh, Dedenne GX. Such a good card. Oh, the, they're dumping five cards. They dumped Lycia, Stretcher, E Switch, Cynthia, Lele. That's just zappy. Ooh. I'm gonna go grab this baby Blacephalon. Attach there so I can burst. I'm gonna welder. Catch the baby. Nice. Nice. Oh, that makes me happy. We're not going to play the Poke Gear. But we'll use Burst. It's an energy card. It's just a bonus. Is that a... Oh, that's kind of. Eh, you know, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. I don't like the prospect of going down two prizes, but our opponent also didn't really get a whole lot going right there. So they got free retreat. Are they going to go full voltage early? I think they only got two lightning energies in the discard pile. Yeah, so that's not good enough value. All right, they're ultra balling for what? Toss to peek around in another lightning. So now they got three lightning energies in there. What are they going for? Coco Prism. Okay, get things moving a little bit. Put one on the Zephyrus. Put one on one of the peek arounds. Maybe. So let's talk to Denny GX. It is strictly around for draw support. Uh, its attacks are underwhelming, we'll say. Um, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may discard your hand and draw six cards. You cannot use more than one DD change ability per turn. So our opponent was able to find some sort of switch. They're going to get rid of our Ultra Space. They're going to use Thunderous Assault for some kind of damage. Looks like 110. Which is fine by me. It's fine by me. So, let's see if I can find a green here. It's like a attach stretcher. 
Put the Bucephalon back. Green. Four. Wishful Baton. Yeah, Pokey Gear from. Man, why bother with Pokey Gear? Grab another green. We'll baton. We'll use the bursting burn. Set that one up for so it only takes one less energy for next turn. Which full time we'll put the energy on that blue stuff line, getting it a little closer to action. But without over committing our resources. Our opponent has a one card to hand, so hopefully they don't have a whole lot going on there. Like it's not like Lily. Something like that. They do get the retreat for free. Faulkner. Faulkner. Energy switch. And... The lightning energy. If they play energy switch. Yep, okay. So that's a kind of a perfect scenario for our opponent to walk into. Now what they don't know is that I have access to all the fire energy I could want in my hand right now. So I'm going to be able to go down to two prize cards here in a moment and hopefully wipe their energy off the board if they attach it poorly. I'll use the green next turn to grab another wishful baton. Attach it to the naked Blacephalon. Okay, they've attached wisely. They've seen this, they know what it can do. Oh, nice. Okay. So now I think I need to get two more fire energies. So I'll utilize greens to find me stuff I can do that with. I don't really need to grab an Ultra Space. I don't need the Wishful Baton right now. I'm going to want the Wishful Baton for the next turn, probably. I think I'll end up tossing one of those uh, Fire Energies with Fiery Flint here. So there's my energy requirement to take this knockout. Five energy, 240 HP, triple prizes. We need energy. E switch Thunder Mountain Tag Bolt GX. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. They better not do it. They better not do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ooh. Comes down to this Cynthia. Don't find it. Don't find it. Okay, that's irritating. But don't have it. Don't you have it? Come on. Yes! Alright. So, we can still get in this. We have enough energy in the discard pile. And if we find a welder off that pokey gear, we're in business. Whew! Yeah, we're going to have nine energy in the discard pile. I'm going to be able to get six back. I have one in hand. Oh, this could be perfect. So, we're going to do our best to get rid of cards out of the deck. To maximize our chances of fighting that welder. Because we need that welder to hit. Like, need it. Oh, 
How many welders do we have in deck? We have two welders, and we have 23 cards in deck, and we're only looking through seven. Seems good. Ah! That's the way it goes. Well, I also realized that there was a horrendous misplay there of me tossing that Blacephal on. But, they had to gain next turn anyway. They were going to find another energy to uh, tag bolt me for game. So, that being said, I'm going to take one last look at the list. Deck manager? Yep. So we'll take one last look at the list here, and we'll try to think, okay, what are things we can do here to maybe smooth things out? The The biggest problem the deck faces are recovery when you don't have a wishful baton down, which can be problematic, and then also the turns in which you want to play both green and welder. Now, there's just no getting around with the turn you want to play both supporters, because you're not going to you're not gonna fit Lieutenant Surge in there and then plan to have both of those supporters in your hand at the same time. It's just not, it's not reasonable to cons consider. So, energy switch. Did you notice how many I played? None. So let's drop it from the deck altogether. Palped, situational. Guzma, I think is a better card. So we're going to increase our Guzma count by one. And because mid-game recovery is so interesting, we will include a beast ring. We will include two beast rings. For the situations where it's mid to late game and... You know, you should only ever need one beast ring. Follow me on this. You can find energy to put it, to have in your hand to attach. You can beast ring to get the other two that you need to attack. But because beast ring doesn't add to the hand, it's not super valuable to us. So yeah, we'll consider those for changes for now. Um, but you can use beast ring to recover in the mid situation, mid game situation where you've already had two, well, two or three blitzephalons knocked out. You green for the beast ring, double attach, attach from hand. Fiery Flint, Fire Crystal, whatever, load your hand back up with Fire Energies and attack. So that should probably be useful. We're going to call it a video for now. Um, we will be producing more content here. Like I said, the format got stale, life got busy. I, for one, have purchased a house. We're going through all that fun stuff, so we get to deal with that in the near future. Hopefully close sometime mid-June. Um, and then you'll be seeing something different behind me when I film. I don't know what that'll be quite yet, because I don't know how I'm decorating the house yet. Um, but other than that, good luck in your cups. I know Unbroken Bonds is illegal next weekend. Hopefully I'll see you around in either Lansing or Jackson, depending on the day, depending on what my schedule will allow me for. Take care. Have fun gaming.